Do I have lipstick on my teeth? I think we're all good. Well, welcome back to another DIY because this week has been the week of DIYs. Ever since I shared my body maintenance video, you guys have been requesting for me to share more videos like that one. And I am huge on DIYs even though in that video I shared a lot of store-bought products. So today I'm going to share with you guys two of my favorite body scrubs for my skin type which has a lot of concerns. The main one being that my skin is very dry, very problematic because I have keratosis pilaris so it requires specific moisture and constant maintenance. In order to keep my skin under control. And also my skin can be very sensitive to certain ingredients. So making my body products myself is a really good idea. And if you struggle with things like that too, hello, welcome. My name is Alba Ramos and I like everything natural and untoxic. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are. Let's get into it. So we'll be making two scrubs. One is a coffee scrub and the other is a sugar scrub. And the importance here is to use ingredients that are right for your skin type. So if you are someone who has keratosis pilaris or you just have extremely dry skin, then these scrubs will be for you because we're using very simple and minimal ingredients so that you can make this once a week or once every two weeks. Keep it in your shower and use it several times a week like I do. The amount of times that you choose to use the scrub on your body depends on your sensitivity level. Some people have tougher skin than others and some people can tolerate it more than others. So it can be anywhere from using it three days a week to every day of the week. Because if you over scrub, over exfoliate your skin, then you can cause irritations and you can actually be doing more damage to your skin. So make sure that the amount of time that you're doing it is right for you. So let's start making the scrub. So these two are going to be the base of our two scrubs. And these are all ingredients that you probably have in your kitchen already. Here I have half a cup of sugar. This is two thirds of a cup of ground coffee. And this is about half a cup of coarse sea salt. You could also use Celtic sea salt, which is very great in this recipe as well. I'm just using this kosher pink sea salt, which is what I have on hand right now. You're also gonna need a lemon because we're gonna be using a couple tablespoons of this lemon juice in our sugar scrub. So we're gonna start with our sugar scrub. And the sugar scrub will contain lemon juice and an oil of your choice. I recommend jojoba oil as my number one. You could also use argan oil or almond oil. And these are three oils that I know will not make me break out on my body or cause any other problems. The only oil that I never use in any body or face recipe is coconut oil. I do not use coconut oil on my body or my face because it will give me huge breakouts. And ever since I've been more cautious with coconut oil, which is really hard to avoid, especially when you're buying store-bought products, my skin has only gotten better because I've been avoiding coconut oil on my body. For this brightening sugar scrub, like I said, I started with half a cup of sugar, and now I'm adding two tablespoons of salt. Did you know that salt is a natural preservative? I'm also adding two tablespoons of almond oil and jojoba oil to start. Sorry, my camera defocused in this part. And I'll just mix it up a bit to check consistency and then add some lemon juice. I'm adding about two tablespoons of lemon juice here, which is what helps brighten our skin as we exfoliate. And at this point, I can tell I need a little more texture, so I'm adding one more tablespoon of sugar and one more tablespoon of salt. And now it's nearly perfect, but if you like, you can also add a few drops of tea tree oil because tea tree is a natural antiseptic, which means it has antibacterial properties, which is very beneficial for skin. And now my brightening scrub is done. You can cover it up, keep it in your shower, and use it a few times a week like I do. Now for my uplifting coffee scrub. I have two thirds cup of ground coffee like I said earlier and I'm starting by adding one tablespoon of argan oil and two tablespoons of jojoba oil. And of course, I'm also adding two tablespoons of salt, just like the brightening sugar scrub that I previously showed. And just give it a little mix and check your consistency before you move forward. Mine just needs one more tablespoon of jojoba. And now it's perfect and ready to be used. Doesn't it look like dirt? but it smells incredible. And again, just cover it up and use it a few times a week after you shower. And here we have it, two scrubs for your body that'll not only soften your skin, it has very moisturizing oils that are skin friendly and compatible with my dry skin type. I use my scrubs several times a week so I don't have a concern 
about it going bad or it sitting in my shower before I can use it or anything like that. This coffee scrub I have been making for a very long time. I actually have an old DIY video on a coffee scrub, the way that I used to make it before. And I think the old one I used to make with olive oil, which is still fine. But back when I made that old coffee scrub, I did not know that I had keratosis pilaris. But I'm more careful now in specific to having KP. And for those of you who do not have KP, coffee scrubs are known to help you diminish the appearance of cellulite. It's gonna make your skin look smoother. Summer is here, everybody's wearing shorts and bikinis and all of that. All right, that's enough of that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe down below because it'll help me out a lot. And it'll also help you because you'll be notified whenever I upload another one of these videos. And if you think I'm not uploading on here enough, Definitely check out my Instagram because I upload on there way more. And when I'm not on here, I'm on there. Comment down below what DIY video I should do next. The one I'm thinking about so far already is sugaring, sugar waxing. Let me know if you're into that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye sunshines.